COVID-19 shined a light on a lot of the issues that are in the workforce. It has allowed people to realize that they're being underappreciated, undervalued, underpaid. And many people that were laid off during that time frame had time to reflect on their own individual lives and realize what they actually want to do in life. They've had time to reflect on what they're doing and how much time they have invested in whatever company they're working for and realize that the benefit and the compensation that they receive for the work and the effort that they put in each and every day was not worth it. And it allowed people to get back in touch with their creativity, with their passions. It allowed people to get in touch with exploring that creativity and those passions. It allowed people to give time to research and to turn some of that creativity and those passions into a way of creating a revenue. Many people made businesses and started businesses during that time frame. And COVID-19 allowed people to have a new perspective on the world that we live in. Many of the people that were laid off during that time have not returned to work. Even as COVID has died down, many people are still choosing to leave their job and go after their business passion, goal, or dream. People are looking to invest in themselves and as opposed to spending their time building up a company or a corporation that they realize doesn't care too much about them or that they're not benefiting from. There are jobs across the board in a lot of different industries that they are not able to fulfill because people are not willing to go back to those same working conditions that they once were in prior to COVID. Another part of the current atmosphere that we are living in is the 2022 recession. We are officially in a recession as we speak. And what, the, what that does is it makes companies look at different ways that they could cut costs. Because anytime you have a recession, you have consumers that are spending less. So companies are making less of a profit. And if once they start making less of a profit, then their shares and the value of their shares start to go down. And anytime that happens, you could look for heads to the roll. Now, if you look around, and if you keep your eyes open, you'll see that companies have already started cutting back employees. They have already started cutting employees at alarming rates. Now, in addition to that, many companies are losing employees. Many companies are firing employees and they are leaving these vacant positions completely open without the intention to fulfill those positions. So you have several storms brewing here. You have companies that are trying to cut costs. You have positions that are open. And anytime you have a position that is left open and unfulfilled, that position, the workload falls on the surrounding employees. And those employees that are having to take on that extra workload, they are going to reach a point where they are not willing to put in that extra work because they're not getting compensated anymore, but they're doing a, a entirely separate job outside of their own. So they're taking on multiple jobs and multiple responsibilities of positions that would be completely uh, paid for and they're not reaping any financial or any other benefits from taking on those extra responsibilities. And you have a wave of 
those employees looking to leave. They have a wave of employees or uh, workforce that is either working for their own business that is not willing to go back to work. And all these things brought together, you just have a perfect storm of a mass recession. Now, nobody knows what that means in the sense of how it will impact the world. If you look into experts, if you watch you know, any form of business news, uh, financial news, financial experts, economic or economists, nobody knows where this recession will take us. But one thing is certain, there are a lot of different variables that are potentially going to have a major impact on the world that we live in. So what does that mean? That means that as somebody that is going into business for themselves, look for those opportunities. Look at the companies that are lacking in products or services. Look to take advantage of some of those roles. Look to see some of the employees that are being let off and see if you could bring them in to whatever your business is. If you have a wave of bankers that are let off, these are financial experts. See how you could incorporate them in your business. Or if you and your colleagues are let off and you're not able to get a job or you have that severance package and you're able to float for a while. See what kind of ideas you guys could generate together and create your own business along something like that. Because one, not only do you have insight knowledge of what areas customers complain about or would like improved, so you could create something that fills that void. But two, you'd also have the knowledge and the uh, expertise of that realm and that industry as a whole. So those are some of the things to consider when it comes to the current atmosphere of the world. Another thing to consider is how COVID has affected the supply chain. There are numerous of companies that are behind in supplies, that are behind in labor demands, that are behind in materials and products and services. So you want to consider how you could go about filling that void or how you can go about avoiding those pitfalls because there are some industries, there are some avenues that you could end up getting into and there's a backlog of stuff that cannot be fulfilled anytime soon. So those are things to consider. Um, in addition to that, you have to look at political circumstance and situations. We're, we are on the verge of World War III, and we are, as a nation, the U.S. as a nation, is on the verge of possibly going into war with China. And if that happens, our complete supply chain is going to be cut off or has the potential to be cut off. So what does that mean? That means looking back at jobs, looking back at the recession, positions are going to get let off and corporations are going to look to save money. Corporations are going to, are going to have to look at other forms of suppliers. Corporations are going to have to look at possibly local manufacturers and suppliers of whatever products and services that they have. So those are some avenues to consider going into. Those are some things to consider and keep your eyes open for and to pay attention to. And if you are, I'm assuming since you're watching this, you are going into your entrepreneurial journey. I implore you to start paying attention to the world business. Look into business news, look into things like Bloomberg and look into different financial news 
that is going on. That way you can see how the different events, the different uh, issues around the world affects us as individuals, but also how it affects corporations and companies as well. All right, so that'll conclude this lesson. And in our next lesson, we are going to dive into business registration and the different avenues that I recommend that you register your business on and how you could go about registering your business on those different avenues.